So, how do you submit an offer on a home that you just saw with your agent? This video is going to be about that topic, so let's talk. Hey, what is going on? My name is Chia. I'm a realtor here in Sacramento and El Grove area. And when it comes to submit an offer on your home or a home that you just saw with your realtor, how do you go about doing that? Because there's so many first time home buyers that ask me specifically, Chia, I just found the home. Chia, that home you just showed us yesterday, I love it. How do I go about submitting an offer? Do I, do I go to you? Do I prepare the offer letter? How does this work? And, and trust me, like this happens a lot because again, first time home buyers, it's, an, it, it's new. It's the first time going through the process. And that's why I wanted to talk to you guys in this video. So that way you guys know exactly how to prepare your offer and how you actually make a offer on a home that you just fell in love with. So the first step is getting pre-approved. The reason why this is the first step is because you should not even be looking at homes with your agent if you're not pre-approved. The last thing you want is to look at a home that is way outside of your budget price point and now you can't look at any other homes under that price point because they're just ugly. So don't do this. Find out what you're pre-approved for and only look at that price point homes because they are gonna change in style and location. And depending on the competition of the area you're looking to buy in, is going to also vary on the type of homes you should be looking at with your agent. So for example, if you are qualified for $350,000, in a competitive market, I always say look at homes between 300 to 320K. So that way you leave $30,000 of buffer in case there's competition so that you can bid up and compete and get the offer accepted. If you're not in a super competitive market, then you could definitely look at homes up to $350,000. So that way you have more options to choose from. The second step is make sure you pull comps on the area. The last thing you wanna do is submit a super low offer or a overpriced offer. The way to avoid this is by asking your agent to pull comps in the area to make sure that that home you're getting ready to submit an offer on is actually worth that price or what type of strategy you should implement before submitting an offer. And yes, technically in the competitive market when you are overbidding, there's still gonna be appraisal that's gonna come in, but I'm not gonna talk too much about this topic. That's gonna be in another video. So let me know in the comments down below if you wanna know more about appraisals. Next step on your offer is to determine the terms. Who's gonna pay for what? Is the seller gonna be splitting the closing costs with you when it comes to the escrow fees, the transfer taxes, the owner title insurance? All of these things need to be paid for at the title company during the close of escrow. Determining this in the beginning is also gonna save you a huge headache and help you factor in all the numbers needed for how much you need at the down payment and the closing table. And your agent could help you with this. Depending on the market, you might wanna maybe change some of these timelines around to make it a little bit more appealing for the owners of the home that you're submitting an offer on. For example, the average day on the market a home goes through for escrow is about 30 days. If you know that your lender and your agent can perform and do a lot of these due diligence sooner rather than milk the time, maybe shorten that 30 days to like 15 days or 21 days. That might be more appealing to an owner versus a traditional 30 to 45 day escrow. Another tip too is instead of doing like a traditional 17 to 21 day timeline for your due diligence, such as inspections and appraisals, maybe shorten those timeline as well. This is where you go over all of that and write that into your offer so that the seller gets to see that and realize if you're serious about their home or not. And again, I'm not gonna focus too much on contingencies in this video. I've made another video about that and I'll link it in the descriptions right below that like button. So for the next step after you've determined who's gonna pay what, how long your timeline is gonna be, what terms you're gonna put on your offer, you might wanna consider writing a personal cover letter 
with your offer to send in to the owners. This personalized letter can help you a ton because depending on who the owner is, maybe they could relate. Maybe they could read your story and see exactly who's gonna be the one buying their home. Because sometimes it's not always about the money. Some owners probably care more about their neighbors that they're leaving behind versus the amount of money that they're gonna be putting in their pockets. You never know. Test it out, write a personal letter, give it to your agent so that they can submit it in with your offer as well. That might just nudge the seller a little bit to like, you know, pick your offer. So after you have completed everything that I've mentioned in this video, it is now time for you to submit your offer to the seller. And of course, your agent is gonna be the one doing that for you. He's the one drafting up the contract for the offer. He's the one writing all these terms in. So he is also gonna be the one that's gonna be sending this to the seller's agent so that they could present it to their seller. And from this point on, you have up to 72 hours to wait and see how they respond back. Depending on your market, the seller may counter, seller may reject, or the seller may accept. Some very bad apples might not even respond back at all. So you've been warned. And that's how you submit an offer on a home that you've just seen with your agent. Simple as that. You don't do any of the legwork. Your agent does everything. They actually draft up all the contract on your behalf, send it to you and put in the terms you want, the price you want, get your signatures and then send it to the sellers to review. That's why you need to have an agent in your side so that way you don't have to go through the headache of finding your own contracts, preparing your own contracts, and preparing how much to write and what terms you wanna put on your contract. If you follow all these steps to the T, submitting an offer becomes so much more easier and less overwhelming. And remember that yes, if your offer does get accepted, you will be getting ready to submit a deposit to the title company, which I'm not gonna talk about in this video. And that is it for this video, guys and girls. If you guys have not yet subscribed to the channel or like this video, make sure you do that and turn on all notifications. And I think I'm done talking for today's video. So peace out.